Hi, beautiful family. Hope y'all are having a great afternoon. I am on my lunch break and um, I found this really beautiful spot um, on the lake and um, they have this track that goes around it so people can come out here and um, walk or they can feed the ducks and there's park benches out here. It's not really a park, it's just, it's a lake and it has a track around it and it's got um, benches uh, all along and then there's like a walking, you can either drive around the track but there's an area where people can walk as well. And um, I always knew this place was down here but I never really like knew that, you know, people came out here on their lunch breaks um, to kind of just sit. And it's funny how you know, I look around and it's like, you know, a lot of people have the same mindset as I do. You know, it's, I, uh, I'm trying to, um, so you guys have heard me kind of talk about my weight, uh, a little bit, but I haven't really talked a lot about it just because my channel is not really a channel that, you know, it's not a fitness channel. It's not, but, um, you know, sometimes I like to share, you know, things about my personal life and things like that. And, um, I've really just been, uh, in a, in a heavy spot, in a dark spot. Um, I, before I had my son, like you guys know, I was, I was in tip top shape and, uh, you know, I, I think I started my channel after I had my son. Yeah. Cause around the time that I was pregnant, I was still posting on Facebook and, uh, yeah. So before I had my son, I was just in, um, extremely good shape. Um, I, I was really strong. I was very athletic. I, I was training six days a week. I was actually training for a competition and we found out we were pregnant. And, um, and so when I had my son, I just lost all my motivation and, um, it was crazy anyways. Uh, so I've really just been in a spot where at, you know, whereas before I just had all the mo motivation in the world and, you know, in my flesh, I think. And, um, now I just kind of experienced, you know, this, um, time in my life where, I lost all my motivation and I would look in the mirror and I would be um, really upset with what I saw and just feeling really bad not you know because I'm not I'm not used to having extra weight on me I have an extra 30 pounds on me and some people would be like oh there's no way but you know it's there <laughs> um, and it's just really um, you know, it's, it's been hard on me because it's just not, it's not me. It's not the lifestyle that I'm used to, you know, living. I'm used to taking care of myself. I'm used to eating healthy. I'm used to being active. And I just lost all that drive and that motivation. And I really just had to dig deep down and I, I prayed to the Lord and I, I told him, I'm like, this time I, I can't do this by myself. I've, you know, I, I look in the mirror and I want to change, but it's not in me to change to change it. And so I just had to really, um, talk to the Lord about that and lean on him for that. And, um, he's actually used my, uh, my weaknesses and, um, he's used the bad, um, actually for the good, for my good. And, um, I want to go into a more in-depth kind of conversation about that at a later point, because I, I really had a, uh, a big learning lesson in my life that I really just want to talk to you guys about and, um, in hopes that it may encourage you. And it's just, um, anyways, I don't want to get too off, uh, track. Uh, but anyways, I, uh, you know, I came down here and, um, you know, like I said, a lot of people, there's, you know, people like to do different things on their lunch break, but, uh, uh, I have started to bring my lunch, um, because the Lord has, provoked that motivation back in me, um, to really get done what I have to do to be healthy. And so, um, I stopped eating out and I've been prepping my food. And although I'm only on my second day, I just, I feel a shift in my mind, like something is different. And, um, I just know that, um, the Lord's really, uh, helping me with this this time. And I'm not, I'm not leaning on my own strength. And, uh, anyway, so I've been bringing my food and this is the second day I've actually came down here and so I've been bringing my food and I, um, I park yesterday. I came uh, down here and actually walked over to one of the park or not park benches, but one of the benches and just sat over the water and, um, you know, talked to the ducks and, um, just really just, I don't know. There's something about just sitting over the water and, you know, everybody's, you know, lunch break is always so hectic. Everybody's just out to try to get something to eat and get back to work. Um, but it was just really nice for me to, um, you know, make my food and come down and just like enjoy my time. And today I didn't get out, but I'm parked and I'm looking over the water and I'll show it to you guys in a second. I'm just, I'm looking over the water right now. It's just a beautiful view and I 
came down here and I'm at eight and I'm actually turn on classical music because um, I love the piano um, you know I love worship music I love country music I love all kind of different music um, but there's something about classical that always just like strikes something in me where it just like calms me and it nourishes me and it feeds my soul and you know the one thing that truly nourishes a soul is just spending time at the feet of Jesus and in his word and just um, talking to him and um, you know, drawing near to him, but something else sometimes, um, is just being still and being quiet and just soaking up like nature and the landscape. And, um, I just want to encourage you guys in these last moments of these end of days that we know that we're in, um, I want you guys to, uh, focus, um, you know, this week or next week, um, the weeks ahead, just finding that peace within yourself. And, you know, sometimes, and I don't mean like try to, you know, just because that's easier said than done. And obviously our peace comes from the Lord, that true inner joy and that peace is something that only the Lord can, um, instill inside of us. Um, but you know, take some time to yourselves this week and really just, um, find some quiet time or, or just whatever brings you that joy and, and, and calms you down and brings you that peace. Like try to find that this week because, you know, we're always so busy and it's a go, go, go generation. We're always just, you know, onto the next thing. And, um, I always find myself in a position where I'm never just stopping to just like take in the things around me and just really, um, just sit and be still. Um, and sometimes that's really like all we need to do sometimes, um, just to kind of nourish ourselves. Um, so whatever that may look like for you, I don't know what that looks like. You know, for me, this, you know, past couple days it's been to come down here to the lake and just sit and today I listen to classical music and I just ate my food and it really just um, nourished me in a sense in like a weird way and um, really just um, fed my soul and sometimes, you know, all we have to do just is just sit, you know, and be still. Um, and so whatever that looks like for you, try to find that, um, you know, take your Bible out you know, I don't know like what is around you guys, you know, but, um, just try to find that calmness, try to find that peace, um, try to bring that into your life a little more. And sometimes we all just need that reminder to just stop for a minute and chill out, you know, like there's some things that we can get to at a later time. Um, we're always so go, go, go. And the, you know, it, and it doesn't help. Like I said, being in these final moments of the end of days, like seeing everything that's happening around us and um and it's really easy to take our eyes and to put our focus on that stuff and it really causes a lot of stress and a lot of anxiety you know work does home life does your children do as much as we love those things they can cause us a lot of stress and anxiety um and it doesn't help with just the times that we're in um, and so I just really encourage you guys, um, this week, like whatever that may look like for you, um, if you found that, or there's something that you decide to do this week that, um, you're just going to take that time to yourself, like leave it in the comment section. I would love to just read the comments, um, of you guys saying, Hey, I did this this week and it, it really helped me. Like, thank you for that reminder. Um, because I think we really all just need it. Um, we need to switch up the the scenery or switch up the pace a little bit you know because it's always so constant 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 go 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 um like yesterday I took my bible out there and I ate and I just sat there and like you know in a sense just sat at the feet of Jesus like was just chilling I was just resting you know I was just looking over the water and it was so peaceful and I was like wow you know for a moment in time I just forgot that all this craziness was happening in the world, you know? So, um, I really didn't have like a whole lot for you guys today. And it's crazy how I'm already going on nine minutes, but, um, I just want you guys to know that I love you, that I care about you, that I'm praying for you, um, to stay encouraged. Uh, Jesus really is coming, but while we are watching, while we are anticipating his arrival, take that, take that time, um, to, uh, for self care, take that time, um, to give yourself a little bit, a little bit of self care that you need. Um, it's okay to take that time sometimes just to yourself to just replenish. You know what I mean? So anyways, 
I really, like I said, I don't have a whole lot. There are a few things I really actually want to talk about. Some crazy stuff that happened yesterday um, as far as end times go. And just some things that um, I had found out that I am going to share with you. But I don't have time to do that today. But I just wanted to come on here and just tell you guys to chill out. Find, find some chill out time, okay? I had to do it and it really helped me. So I hope that you, I hope that you guys do that and that it helps you too. All right, um, so again, I'm sorry I didn't have some big news, but hey, just wanted to hop on and let you guys know that I love you and I'm thinking about you and um, I really do care for you and I just want you guys to find a little bit of peace in these crazy times. All right, I love you all and I'll talk to you soon.